so good day and welcome to another episode of corridor training uh this is the second episode the first episode we spoke about introduction to corridor draw where we we spoke about the uh interface the toolbox the proper activity and the color scheme so those were the things we did in the first episode if you are here to watch that please there's a link below this video where you can actually get uh, a direction to watching that and in this episode i said initially we are going to work on shapes and this is what we are going to do this a uh, very little umbrella we are not really a good umbrella though but we are going to work on this umbrella and trust me at the end of this tutorial if you follow everything bit by bit step by step you'll be able to do this on your very own so because of our time and our data i would love us to jump into what we are supposed to do today so let's go to work so me looking at this umbrella something that should come to your head is that how has he actually come up with this umbrella then let me just let me tell you that this is just combination of two shapes which is rectangle and circle and probably uh lines so with rectangle and circle alone you can do any shape you can you can just come up with any shape you want to as much as you know how to go with your tools okay so Let's break it down then. Let's work on this. The first thing is doing the cover area. The, that is the large blue area. So I said I said in the last tutorial that if you want to draw a complete circle and not an oval shape like this, you need to hold your control button to get a perfect circle. As you can see, I'm holding my control button. Okay. So and I also told us that uh, in this property bar here, you know, I told you that for every tool you pick, there's a different property bar so the property bar of circle told us that we could use an ellipse which is a complete circle a pi or an arc and we need a pi and this is 270 degree we can actually decrease that to 180 degree you can see that is actually what we want but i would teach you another method of doing that well it is the other way but it's just for you to learn one or more things okay let's press ctrl z and ctrl z to undo what we've done so how do we do about it okay let's pick a rectangle then let's draw a rectangle to intersect the circle as you can see this rectangle is intersecting the circle at the center so let's use this rectangle to cut the circle into two or probably into one because we are going to cut the other side away so while you're selecting your rectangle hold your shift button and click on your word circle that means you selected both and the next thing is come to your property bar you would see trim the first one is build is bringing shapes together you can see this why the second one is what trim so let's click on the trim and voila we have i just deleted the triangle and we have the arc okay so the next thing is how do we get this you know this curvy edges of the umbrella let us do that now those curvy edges were gotten with what with circular as well or let me say uh circles also yeah with circles so we are going to draw uh just a random shape of um circle here we're going to place that very well then we are going to duplicate this how do we duplicate now there is something about duplication instead of you pressing ctrl d which we actually duplicate but the problem with this is that it won't arrange it for you automatically you need to get it manually which it is almost impossible to get a perfect selection perfect arrangement so how do we do that click on any object you have then put your mouse to the middle and drag you will see a ghost like new object following your mouse up and down while the original is still there so after duplicating it well we've not duplicated the door but it's telling us that okay you can duplicate this the next thing is click on your shift button to do what align it on the same horizontal axis or probably on the same vertical axis your shift button does that magic if you don't click your shift this is what you get so let's click our shift and we have it on the same now before you release you know i'm still holding my left click and my shift before you release that just right click and you will see a duplicate of what you just did okay let me take that again the first thing click on your object hold your right click you know i'm just holding it i'm using it to drag it up and down then click on your shift to put it on the same level horizontally then before releasing the left click and the shift just right click you have another object okay now corridor does something yeah corridor draw does something it's going to replicate a particular action for you it's going to repeat it how 
pressing Ctrl R on your keyboard. You see what we did, it is doing it again. So let's do that one more time. Then we have our fold oval shape. The next thing is arranging it to hit the edge of the arc. Good. So let's make this four shapes one. How do you do that? Select the four shapes and you are going to see the normal buttons. But here we are using weld, not trim, just to weld everything together. Okay. So see what we have. We have the circle has been has become one shape. Okay. So we are going to click on the circle now on the circle. Then hold your shift, click on the arc, then come here. You do what trim. That means you are using the circle to cut the arc. So see what we have. Then we are through with our circle. Just delete that and F on your keyboard. You see what we have here. So the next thing is the holder, which is really, really the most simplest thing there. So just draw, uh, let's draw a rectangle as long and as fat as you want it to be. Okay. Then put it to the center. Now I won't advise you to do the centering. That is the alignment manually. There's a way to do that to get a perfect center. So. While you're clicking on your, while you've selected your rectangle or any object, hold your shift, select the second object that you want both of them to come to the center and hit what C on your keyboard. Then you have it at the center. Simple, right? Okay, the next thing is actually this holder. Let's look at this very well. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's build our own holder. Let's, let's, let's do that. So I'm zooming here so we can see what we want to do. So let's go to the rectangle to uh let's create uh let me a wider rectangle then um an oval shape let's create an oval shape then let's let's arrange the oval shape in the way here then uh let's duplicate it the way i thought you uh, drag it without leaving your left click press your shift shift to put them on the same alignment then while holding the shift and left click hit the right click then you have that so let's just put this shift this let's group it which is ctrl g or you come to arrange group okay why are we doing that because once we click on our rectangle and we are trimming it works at once instead of us doing one doing it one after the other so the next thing is getting another so ellipse on our shape so let's click on z and zoom so we can see what we're doing very well okay working with the circle let's move this a little bit i want to make sure it's aligning pretty well beautiful so we have this i can actually duplicate it bring it down with my shift button then before releasing it right click then i have this so let's pick this together and fine you got it let's build it then let's arrange this here or let's do the normal Hold this, press shift, hold this, and press what C on your keyboard. Just centralize. Beautiful. So, what's the next thing we are doing? Now, use F4 to zoom out. Okay. The next thing we are doing, we have the three lines. Okay. That's very simple. You just come down to your free hand to click. Then let's imagine a center here. Okay. Let's imagine this as the center. Click and here, don't drag. Just click and release your mouse. Once you're moving your mouse about, you see a line following your mouse then look for the edge then click okay fine that is this we just run this but we need to make it a curve line how do we do that there's something i need to teach you we call it converting a particular object to text either um to curve rather either a text or a shape so how do we get to do that the shortcut for doing that is Control plus q it will convert it it has converted it like that but you won't see any effect okay so okay for instance let me let me give you this is this is a rectangle okay if i want to work on this and i pick my shape to to shape it to my taste you see that i don't have the ability to shape it why because i have not converted it so let's as my press ctrl q i've converted it nothing is happening but let me click on my shape too you see you have different things you have four nodes at the same at the edges and you can actually you know create another node by double clicking dragging it Okay, let's assume you just want to create the the new the new um gmail uh the gmail logo ctrl q the new gmail logo that's what we have you see that's very 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 simple just as simple as that okay so that is what we call converting to 
converting a particular sheet for editing but that's not what we are going to let's click on this line ctrl q then click on our shape tool then click the middle of the line now once you click in don't double click if you double click you have a node and a node will actually make it an edge and that is not what we want so what you have to do is click once once you have a star come up here you'd see convert line to curve or you can even right click on the line you will see to curve then click on that you will see arrows that you can use to control and if you are not really good with arrows you can control that manually on your own beautiful so let's uh let's start a little bit it's getting up beautiful so let's duplicate that ctrl d then let's mirror the second one to face the other side here mirror then um let's bring this here and uh, we need to drag this a little bit here beautiful then the next one is just a straight line all right just click the edge and um, click again we have a straight line so we are done with the lines the next thing is the header okay we have a curved head then uh, something like a prism yeah something like a prism so let's do that okay let's get a rectangle but before we convert this to curve you can see that the edges of this the two edge they are curved so we have to make these edges curve before converting to curve so it won't be harder although you can do it after that but it takes a really long way so once you click on your rectangle you see four edges here four edges easy to control the edges four box rather easy to control the edges of rectangle so let me pick this let me put it in uh, 30 30 okay just 30 and yeah 30 see what we have so the next thing is Control q convert it to curve then let's move this inside a little bit and this also inside a little bit fine so what do we have here we have what we want so let's just put this here so the last thing we have here are the circles at the edge well those are pretty simple you could even do that on your own so let's let's zoom in you can see a lot of control spaces i'm using that to go back to the pick two instead of after picking one coming if you click on just your normal space it will go but if you're on text and you click space it won't go back to your pick two you have to press control space so that's why i'm used to to control space so let me just draw a circle a very small circle a yeah, very small one and let me arrange them manually to three no oh, that's a mistake control z you see before while moving it before dropping it i'm right clicking that is the reason it is duplicating if it does drop you see this one is going off so before you drop it you do what you right click so to get it duplicated now we are through with all the shapes that we want to get let's clap for ourselves the next thing is what giving them color so let's start from here uh, let's give it blue color then let's move the outline that is the hairline we don't need it that is the black at the edge this also let's give this pink and let's move the black at the edge that is the hairline we don't need it um uh, this also is pink now let's move the airline uh, and then this circles are pink uh, let's remove the airline you can see because i choose multiple objects the airline is not here so i have to come manually here and click on what x no outline so this now this is combination of two colors we call it gradient flowing of color into each other how do we achieve this you can press g on your keyboard okay then um let's just draw a line going up a linear line going up so you can make it linear which is straight radial conical square so but we are working on linear here the black let's change it to deep blue and the white let's change it to light blue beautiful see what we have so let's move the airline as well so what else do we have okay the lines here let's make this pink uh okay if you want to change the outline the color of the outline you don't left click it won't work because lines don't have words few options you right click then it works so i'm going to make 
this also i'm gonna right click this then i'm gonna give them a line of maybe 3.0 yeah to make it bolder then i'm gonna click this i'm gonna press ctrl out to repeat that particular action so what's the next thing we have or the last thing we have to do okay this handle is too big let's reduce this a little bit it's too big yeah beautiful so um yeah you can see that this holder is on top of the umbrella which is wrong so how do we make the holder come down or make the umbrella come up so i prefer to make the holder come down so we press shift and page down on your keyboard then it comes down if you want it to go up again you press shift and what page up beautiful so let's bring that down so it has given us another problem see here there is a circle here but because we have the same color there it is not what's showing so what do we do to the circle the circle we do what uh let's give it you click here you are gonna see drop shadow interactive drop shadow so let's click the circle and give it uh, a shadow just a little shadow and let me make it original black original black okay you can see it has been differentiated now we are through with our what our umbrella can you see this really look identical now ctrl g to finish to group everything you've done isn't this beautiful so we are still working on shapes but on another shape in the next episode thank you for watching this goodbye